Hello guys, so this is the Xiaomi Mi 8 with the code name is Deeper and in this video I will make a quick review about the ROM. Okay, we're using the Pixel Experience based on Android routine. Okay, I will make tests about the email, the Wi-Fi, the camera for recording and taking a picture, root checker, safety net, and other stuff. Okay. So we, we will get a better view about this ROM. Is it good enough or not for the driver? Okay, you can also check the memory that has been used and also the storage that used. Okay, so stay tuned and check it out. So in this video, I will make a quick review about the Pixel experience on the Mi 8 with the code name is Deeper. Okay, this is using the Android 13, so you will get the latest security update on and also Android version. Okay, very nice. All the basic functions are working. Okay, so let's take a test for the test let's check the email you can see right here we have a working email so this sim1 and sim2 also working okay <clears throat> and usually you will ask if the wi-fi is working you can see right here the wi-fi nfc and bps also working okay let's open the map just to make sure okay this is our location and <clears throat> it's show me the precise location. Okay, so there is no problem with the GPS. Okay, now <clears throat> uh, let's take a test with the root beer and safety net. Okay, root beer, root beer usually used to check if the pawn has been root or not. Okay, you can see. So right here it says no root. Okay, now let's open the safety net. <clears throat> Safety net is a function that usually important for banking, Google Pay, Gojek Grab, Uber and other stuff. Okay, you can see right here. The safety net is passed. Okay, that's nice. And also let's check the <coughs> storage that has been used. Okay, you can see right here. The system use 9.3 GB. It's not very large, so it's just take 11 gigabyte for all the apps that I have installed. Okay, so it has very small size and small footprint. Okay, maybe some of you also want to know the memory allocation for this device. You can check in the proper option. You can see right there. It use just 2.8 gigabyte from the 6 gigabyte. Okay, so the average use is 45%. Okay, quite nice. <clears throat> and then let's take a test, take a picture, and also record the video. Okay, let's take a picture right here, and I will show you later the result. Okay, this is the photo, and let's take a video. Okay, hello guys, this is recording using the back camera and I will stop this one. Okay, now let's test the using the front camera. Okay. I will just record it and I will show you the result. Okay, hello guys, this is record using the front camera and I will stop this one. Okay, now let's check the result. This is the result of the back camera. Very nice, very sharp, <laughs> quite nice. And where is it? <clears throat> okay, and this is the video. Recording to the back camera, and I will stop this one. Okay, so guys, okay nice. The video also clear and it has a lot of sound. Okay, this is the front camera. It's quite detailed, but it's dark because of the light. Okay. Okay, 
and all that. Okay, there is no problem with the camera. While well, we take a picture and record a video using the phone and the camera, the, all the functions are working correctly. Okay, so there is no problem. Okay, you can also uh, <clears throat> let's test the sound and video playback. Okay, I will play some music on YouTube so you can see the result. Okay, so you can see the result, it's very nice. Okay, let's play it one more time. Okay, nice the sound and the video working perfectly, so there is no problem. Okay, what else? So, maybe some of you guys want to check the CPU throttle. Let's check using these apps, okay? Basically, what the apps is doing is making a stress test. Okay, so it will make stress of the CPU, and if you, if it's not stable enough, it's not good enough for gaming. But you can see right here, it's quite good enough. For the performance is about two hundred Ti IPS. Okay. <clears throat> And okay, let's stop this one. So the max is 200 and the minimal is 167. Quite nice. You can use it for gaming and it's quite stable enough. Okay. <clears throat> and what else? Maybe you want to test? I don't know. And I also already test the offline charging, so the offline charging is working. Okay, there is no problem. And I think this ROM is quite fast enough. I don't feel any lag, very smooth. You can see right there. And according to the IPS, the CPU throttle is quite stable for gaming. So, <clears throat> for the verdict, I will very recommend this ROM for daily driver. Okay, there is no major bug. And we have that's all the function on the point okay so that's all guys and i hope you like my video if you find it very useful please give it a thumb and i also have a lot of video about routing custom rom and lots of fun okay especially xiaomi samsung realme asus and other stuff okay uh you can find in my video maybe some of the video will be useful for you okay guys if you subscribe it will make me excited to make a new video and that's all stay self stay safe stay health and wassalamualaikum